Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and uh, an intriguing new idea today. We'll get to that in a moment. Um, I was just reflecting on, on the communities that Sudoku brings together. We got this email from Joey Hill saying that uh, his family used to solve competitively. They, both, they each had a copy of a book of 170 puzzles and they'd sit at the kitchen table and, and race to solve them. And now he's away at college. Um, Watching our Sudoku videos helps with not being able to do that and missing his family. So that's great news. And he wanted to wish a very happy birthday to his dad. So we will certainly do that and uh, hope that Joey's dad gets a lot of cake today. Um, but we will, I mean, you can check out our communities. We've got Patreon and Discord links in the um, description field under the video along with how to find all our apps and our merchandise, uh, Sven Sudoku pad, etc. So some great stuff going on there but um, we will also be looking at a puzzle by yet again another debut setter today. I seem to be doing a lot of these lately and that's bringing more people into another fold of those who've had their puzzles solved on the channel. Um, so Let's hope that Tino is happy with this and uh, his idea is called binary meter. Um, it's really interesting. So it's quite, it's new, totally new as an idea, but a very simple rule set. And I certainly applaud both of those things. Um, now, normal Sudoku rules apply in this puzzle. Uh, so one to nine in every row, column and three by three box. Straightforward enough. Um, digits don't repeat on the marked diagonals. So along these blue lines, it's a set of one to nine again. Now we have some thermometers and some differently colored ones in this one. Uh, digits along a thermometer increase from the bulb. That's normal enough. So this goes up from the bulb to the tip. For a thermometer of length n, the sum of its digits is two to the power of n. So, for example, a four-cell thermometer sums to 16. Um, okay, so you don't actually need any any higher maths. I mean, I don't think powers are higher maths, but uh, you don't need any real knowledge. You just need to know that three-cell thermometers are going to add up to eight digits on them. The digits on a four-cell thermometer is going to add up to 16, and the digits on a five-cell thermometer are going to add up to 32. Um, so that's an intriguing way of not having to show some overlapping killer cages, I suppose. Now, the reason we've got different colored thermometers is so we know which way they go after an intersection. So they obviously the gray one goes straight down there, etc. cetera. Um, but otherwise, this is um, just a relatively simple idea. Do give it a try on the first link under the video. I'm gonna start now. Let's get cracking. So, if that adds up to 32, there are quite a few ways of doing that in five cells. The same is true of 16. Okay, 8 is the place to start. Yes, because 8 in three different cells always has to have a 1. It's either 1, 2, 5 or 1, 3, 4. So the 1 is going to have to be on the bulb. Yeah, then the lower digit is going to be in the next cell. So that's a 2, 3 pair. Then I suppose we get a four five pair on the tip. That must be right, I think. Um, ah, ah, okay. If this is a two on the on the bulb of a five cell thirty two thermometer, the other cells would have to be six seven eight nine, because thirty two minus two is thirty, and the only way of making that up in four Sudoku digits is six seven eight nine. Right, so if it was a 2, we'd be going 6, 7, 8, 9. If it was a 3, they'd add up to 29. And again, there's only one way. It's 5, 7, 8, 9. So this is 5 or 6. And then these are 7, 8, and 9. And we get digits in the grid. And that, well, that thermo is not quite done. Those two are going to have to add up to 8. Um... Right, this thermo. Ah, I've just had an, a thought about the four cell thermos. They're always going to have to begin with one or two. And that is because if they began with a three, the minimum you could have is three, four, five, six, which adds up 
to 18, which is too many. So they must all begin with a one or a two. So all of these cells, are these all four cell thermos? Yes, they're all one or two. This one can't be a two because there's a two, three pair there. So that is a one. That was what got me thinking about it. Um, Hmm. So this, okay, on this one, these four cells add up to 16. With seven there, these three add up to nine. Now nine is either going to be done by one, two, six, one, three, five, or two, three, four. Oh yeah, there we go. So we've got a four, five pair in column six looking at this cell. So it's not four or five, it's six and two and one. And now this is the only way to make up this 16. Um, it doesn't resolve these. Ah, oh, look, it's resolved the yellow bulb. That's a one, that's a two, that's on the diagonal. So this becomes a three and now the eights are done. One, three, four there, one, two, five there. This we know from the total that is a five to make that 32 total. We've got a four six pair here. That doesn't mean this has to be six. No, not at all actually. Um, okay, we'll come back to that. Now two on a thermo. Two, three, four, seven is the, is the way to keep those low. Two, three, five, six, I think is also 16. So that's three. Oh, two, four, five, six is too many. So this cell I'm in must be a three. Uh, then this is four or five. Yeah, once those add up to five, these add up to 11. They're either four, seven or five, six. Now we've got four or five here. So this, oh no, we haven't. We've got a five there, red. A red thermo is quite difficult to see through, sorry. Uh, we get a four there. Ah, and on this red thermo, we've got one or two here. So we need two or three here before the four, but we can't have three. So that's a two, that's a one. This one is now a three and we can finish off the, well, we can finish off all of the thermos that go through here. Eight plus eight is 16, seven plus nine is 16, nine plus, Seven is 16, so they all have different tips. Uh, that nine goes here, and we get a five, six pair. Now, oh, these are five from five, six. Because these must ascend up here, and I know I've only got five, six, oh, well, nine in this column has to be here on the tip. And then that's five, six, or eight. Um, oh, is there one, two, three pairs? Yes. One, two, and three are done in boxes one and four. So none of these contain one, two, or three. Ah, oh, the simple way to see that maybe is that this is a naked pair. It sees one, two, three in its box, nine, eight, five, six in its column. So that is a four, seven pair. And now we get one, two, three down here, which is how I spotted it. That, oh look, two and three already on the diagonal. So that's a one. Um, ah, and this is a five cell thermo adding up to 32, but it's being selected from four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which add up to 39. Therefore, the one digit that's not on the thermo is the digit between 32 that it adds up to and that 39 total and the difference between those is a seven so after that i can then fill in the digits ascending on the thermo there we go four five six eight nine that does add up to 32. this is a five six pair that's an eight at the top of column two this is going quite smoothly ah oh, that six has sorted out four and six now oh well that one makes this a two this has got to be a seven because it's bigger than six. Seven and six is 13 plus one is 14. That's a two. And this is coming very smoothly. I've got a four, three pair here, but I've got three on the diagonal telling me which way round they go. 
three, eight, and nine in these cells. That can't be a three. Now, in this central box, right, nine is on that diagonal, and nine is there. So the only place left for nine is here. Oh, and six is on this diagonal and there. So six is fixed. And now, I, thanks to that seven, I can do the eight and seven. So that's hasn't fixed that five, six pair. That's weird. Um, this is four or five. Ah, this diagonal. Oh, no, look, that six on this diagonal fixes five in the corner. One and eight to finish the diagonal. And then going back to this diagonal, seven and five. And that five sorts it out. Five and seven. Wow, and we're closing in now, I think, already. This is a 1-6 pair. In fact, I know the order. This is a 2-3 pair. 4 and 5. Box 2 is finished. That's a 3-9 pair that I can't do yet, but I can do the 8-4 pair below it. 4-3-2-1-8. Uh, this is a 7-6 pair. Again, I do know the order now. These can't have an 8, so 8 in this box is done. Ooh, five nine pair left, so a nine X wing. These are two four and nine. Yep, they're pretty straightforward. Um, now one and seven in row four. That's five or six, so eight is placed in the box. These are from three five and six. Uh, so let's. <laughs> I haven't used this thermo, have I? Two and three is five. These have to add up to 11. So there are five and a six, which would have been a deadly pattern with the five and six over here if it had not got a thermo. So three there, nine there, three there, and we can finish off nine and five, and then three and nine. That's a very neat puzzle. I mean, not, not too tricky at all, but very entertaining. A little bit of maths. A little bit of thinking through it and getting used to the ascending combinations that can fit. I mean, I noticed that we've got quite a lot of different combos that have occurred. One, two, four, nine, one, three, four, eight, two, three, four, seven, one, two, six, seven, two, three, five, six. Uh, both the th both the three cell possibilities. And unsurprisingly, the two five cell possibilities aren't the same. There's a bit more variety there. But a really neat idea. Uh, thanks, Tino. And uh, thank you, as always, for watching us on the channel. We're getting very close to 500,000, where we are going to release a pack of some incredible puzzles that have been sent to us to celebrate by some of the absolute best constructors there are. Um, and we, will, we are also offering our, our book at a discount price. If you go to... The website which is probably the first link after the puzzle under the video and use the code that, that we give you there you can get the book at a discount uh, it's been out for a while it is frankly incredibly popular which is great and thank you very much for watching hope to see you soon on the channel bye for now